Oh man, wasn't that awesome, guys? Yeah, I know. Dude, that mall was freaking huge. I know. Too bad I didn't buy anything, though. Why didn't we buy anything? Because Connor said he had something else that he bought for us. Um, Brandon, did you buy anything? Nope, I listened to orders. Yeah, that's our chief, Connor. Yes, I am. Now, please pay attention, guys, okay? Because today, I have a very special announcement. Yes, we went to the city. And yes, it was the most kick-ass experience we've had since, well, the last kick-ass ex experience we've had. So, yes, I thank you all for having a good, enjoyable time. Now, let me get on with my speech. Now then, guys, for my speech. Now then, this may take a few seconds, so I don't think it's going to get boring. Now then, Colin, I have someone here who is your friend and who have not seen for a long time. If it's Daniel, you can shut the hell up right there, because Daniel is a bastard, and I'm not going to hang out with him anymore. No, no, of course not. He is someone from the World Tournament. You don't mean... That's right. And by the way, I also happen to buy another vehicle. So, Jack! Greetings, Colin. It's very good to see you again. Might I add, guys, that Sojak is now joining the Neil Adventure team. Since we could use some extra help, and Huru, who was the other guy there, went off somewhere else doing some other crap. Now then, I do realize that Sojak is probably going to be the weakest fighter on the team, but I'm sure he will progress just as you guys have, since he is new after all. Besides, Trevor was just... Colin was just a normal human, and he reached Super Saiyan 3 by now. Or a normal... Saiyan human. Human injected with Saiyan blood becoming half-breed Saiyan. Wait, I don't quite get Sojak's origin. What exactly is it, Connor? Well, Neil, it's simple. Sojak is a full-blooded alien from some unknown planet. His powers are still not unknown. Are still unknown. But I'm sure they will progress just as yours have. Now then, Sojak you and Colin can get acquainted again, and I can show Neil and the others this great kick-ass vehicle. Very well. Dude, let me show you my boat. It's like awesome. Okay, guys. Pay close attention to what to this new vehicle. It has the same logo as Herbie, but it's a little bit bigger. No freaking kidding. It's a semi with a helicopter. Hmm. That could be useful. Yes, it will be indeed. Now then, I don't know quite know yet what we're going to use this for. Except for maybe scouting the area a little bit. But I do know it will be useful in... What the hell? Dude, where'd that come from? It sounded close. Whatever that was, it was big. Attention, listen. This is Roxanne Simmons reporting from... Fox 11 News. This is Roxanne Simmons with Fox 11 News. As you can see, people, there is much siege in the city of Orlando right now. Unfortunately, something just attacked the city. But within seconds, it has disappeared. Now then, as you can see, even the mayor and all the s of Orlando citizens are trying to flee the city. For, is it, for the creature or whatever it was seemed to have even knocked down the monument that stand in, in the front of the great entrance of the city. I am very afraid of this right now. I hope this is understandable. That whatever it was that attacked the city is still going up. Thanks, Trevor. Guys, it's a good thing we just got that new vehicle. Oh, shut up, Connor. This is definitely big. It's obviously not something the size of me, or Colin, or Trevor, or Sojak. Something big. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Yeah, right. The last time something big attacked the city, it was Madhan, and it was back in 1998. And that was ten years ago. Like, something that crazy could happen again. I'm sure it's just a crazy mutant trying to get some fame and fortune as little gangster mutant buddies like blowing some crap up. Sure we can handle it. Still guys, I don't like the idea. 
Pitt. Connor, or Colin. Sorry, I like to say my name a lot. But Colin, Koja, get over here. You hear that, guys? What? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. Okay, so let's see here. Colin, Trevor, and Neil, you're going to go into the city. Now, Sojak, you're going to be in a... I want you to take the new helicopter and test it out a little bit. Um, okay. I guess I can do that. I guess I can do that. Connor, don't you think that was a little mean? I mean, after all, he's strong. And he could be a little useful to us. Not yet, okay, guys? Whatever it was. I'm sure it was huge. I'm sure Sojak would be very afraid. Now then, what I want you guys to do is slowly enter the city, and I'm sure the army's there by now, but whatever it was that attack seemed to have died down, so I'm sure it's left. Okay, if you guys need anything, just give me and Br Brandon a call. We'll come in with some vehicles and see if we can do anything about it. Okay? Alright, guys. Good luck to you all. So, Jack, make sure you check out that plane crash. Right. No survivors, Connor. Okay, set up camp, and keep a good eye on that radar in case any movement comes up. Yes, sir. Halt! Relax, guys. We're professionals. We know how to handle whatever it was. Ow! Whatever it was... Dang, this place is hard to stand on. Whatever it was that attacked your city. Yes, we do, okay? Wow! You're right, dude. It's hard to stand on here. And you guys were just flying right now, amazing. Okay, we're gonna try to stand up. Okay. okay. You guys must be wearing some kind of special boots or something. Yes, we are. Now then, we're gonna get our commander here and he's gonna tell us what to do with you rascals. You guys, it isn't safe here. We've handled this kind of stuff before, Lieutenant. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Um, commander! Yes, that's me. <sighs> Yes! Now what's going on here, Commander? These little boys think they can take down whatever... Zilla! Zilla? Yes, the great creature that attacked Orlando City. Now then, if you think you guys can take care of it, we'd like to stand back and see you try. First of all, there's no way a giant lizard could possibly come in here and knock down buildings, or, I mean, start the place on fire. By the way, do you guys take care of that? Yes, it's, it's all quite alright. We had a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, um, a, uh, fire put out her. Sorry, we're scared and amazed at what happened here, so we're kind of having bad problems with our speech. Yeah, right. We've seen worse things than you have. Whatever the mutant was, it's not a mutant, young man. It was Zilla, the giant creature that attacked New York ten years ago. It was killed by twelve freaking missiles. Well, young man, what is your name so I can stop calling you young man? I am a 13-year-old boy and my name is Neil! Well, Neil, I can assure you we shot at least 100 missiles at it and it still lives. Escaped. Of course, then again, it attacked the city before we had a chance to really fire anything else at it, besides our weapons. Well, anything else you would like to report, Commander? Oh yes, I would like to know. How many survivors? Well, of course, in the news broadcast, that unfa that faithful reporter happened to die in the crash. But about 50 people died from that creature. Everyone else escaped, thankfully, including the mayor. Well, that's good. Now then, I would like to know, can you guys step back here? I'm sure whatever it was, it's fine, okay? Neil, are you, I'm starting to believe that you might be going crazy just because you're, you're not believing that a giant lizard could attack the city. Yeah, well, Colin, let me tell you this, okay? Get in front of my face, okay, Colin? Colin, let me tell you this, okay? Let me tell you this right to your damn face, alright? 